Hello and welcome back to another episode of the quest system series. In the last video we set up parts of our journal widget by adding our three categories, current, completed and failed quest. And today we're gonna wrap up the design of our journal widget by adding the right side of it, so all the details of the quest that we have selected currently. To do that let's exit the play mode, go to our widgets and let's open up the quest journal. We will start by searching for a scroll box and dropping that onto our canvas panel. Let's call that quest details box. We will check the is variable, anchor that to the upper right corner. Position in x will be minus 575 and in y it will be 12. Then we will need to modify the size as well, so in X that will be 565 and in Y 725, just so it fills out all the space here. And let's actually go to the behavior and set the visibility to hidden by default, since we will just show that when we select a quest and not before that. Alright, then we will search for text and drag that on top of our quest details box. Call that the quest name. Make that a variable. Padding for that will be 5, 0. So 5 to the left and right. Then set that to horizontally align fill. Let's type in some default text. The first quest ever dot dot dot. Let's also select another font, so we will use Georgia and increase the font size to let's say 35. Then scroll down to the outline settings and increase that to 1. So we've got a 1 pixel black outline around that. Scroll down further, check the auto wrap text and the justification will be align text center. After that we will add a horizontal box to our quest details box and in there start with a vertical box. Then we will search for another text and add that on top of the vertical box. Call that quest category. Make that a variable as well. Give it a padding of let's say 20 pixels from the top. We will align that to the top vertically, horizontally align fill. Default text can be something like main, quest, then the font type will be Georgia Italic and font size of 32. Also let's modify the color and select an orange color to show that it's the main quest. After that add another text. That will be the region or quest region. Also check the is variable. We will give that a padding of 20 to the top as well. Horizontally align that to the center and vertically to the top. Type in Canto for the default text and here again select Georgia Italic and font size of 32. Afterwards let's search for an overlay and we will add that to our horizontal box, not to the vertical box. Set that to fill and horizontally align right, vertically align fill. Then we will add an image to that. For that image we will uncheck the is variable and align that to the center vertically and horizontally. Then for the image search for level BG. Then add another text to the overlay. Call that suggested level. Check the is variable. Default text can be something like 99. Align that to the center vertically and horizontally. We'll give that a padding of 15 to the bottom. And the font type for that will be Georgia with size of 45. Also let's change the color so 
When the suggested level is much lower than our player level, we will set that to green. Let's scroll down, expand the shadow color and set the alpha to 1. Then increase the shadow offset in X to 2.5. Yep. Also scroll down and set the justification to align text center. That's it for a suggested level. Then let's search for a vertical box. Add that to our quest details box. Let's call that the reward box. Check the is variable for that. Here we will start with the text. The text should just say reward column horizontally aligned to the center and the font type will be Georgia Italic with a size of 40. Then we will search for an image and add that to our reward box. For the image uncheck this variable and search for spacer just to indicate that that is a new category the details here. Uh, after that we will add a vertical box to the reward box. Set that to horizontally aligned center and then search for a horizontal box and add that to our vertical box. Let's call that the exp reward box. Check the is variable. Then add an image to that exp reward box. Again uncheck the is variable. Align it to the left and vertically to the top. The image will be the exp icon. Afterwards add a text. Call that exp reward. Check the is variable. That one we will set to fill and horizontally align left. For the default text type in plus 5000 exp, something like that. Type here will be Georgia and a size of 26. And scroll down and set the justification to align text right. After we did that, let's right click on our exp reward box, copy that and paste it to our vertical box. Call that the prestige reward box. Horizontally align that to the left. Then go to the image and exchange the exp icon for the pp icon for prestige points. Select the text block, call that prestige reward and that will be aligned to the right horizontally. It will say plus 5000 pp and then scroll down, set the justification to align text left. That's it for our rewards. After that add another vertical box to our quest details box. Let's call that description box. And check the is variable. Here we will start with the text. Add that to the description box. The text will just read description colon. It will be aligned to the center horizontally. The font type will be Georgia Italic with a size of 40. Afterwards add an image to the description box, uncheck the is variable and search for spacer. Then we will search for text, add that to the description box. That text will be the actual description and check the is variable. Padding for that will be 5 comma 0. Now we can type in some default text. This is the first quest ever that you will have to complete in order to proceed with the story. 
set the font type to italic, so robo italic, and let's lower the size to 22 maybe. Set the justification to align text center and check auto wrap text. Now that looks fine. Then we will add another text to the quest details box. Align that to the center and the text will say goals column. Again the font type will be Georgia italic with a size of 40. Like we did before, search for an image, drag that on top of our quest details box, uncheck the is variable and search for spacer. Then we will add another vertical box to the quest details box. Call that the quest goals box. Check the is variable and align that to the center. Then we will add a horizontal box again to our quest details box. Call that the button box. Check this variable here again. Align that to the center and give it a padding of let's say 10 pixel from the top. Then we will search for a button add that to the button box. Let's call that select button. We'll give that a padding of 10 pixel to the right and now we'll need to set up the styles so let's go to normal search for select and we will use select button default for that. Draw that as an image. Go to hovered search for select button half and draw that as an image again. And finally go to pressed, search for select button press and we'll draw that as an image again. Let's copy the select button, paste it to our button box and that will be called cancel button. The padding here will be 0 to the right but 10 to the left. And we'll go to the normal style search for cancel button default, go to hovered, cancel button hovered and finally to press, cancel button press. Compile, save. Now you can get an idea of how our details window will look like later on. And that's it for today's episode. See you in the next one when we will set up the actual functionality for our widgets.